What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, yeah, we did a lot. We went through uh, Xenia, got to find out a lot of stuff about, you know, the Draconids or Draconoids or however you like to call them. And, uh, yeah, apparently there's a meteor that's gonna hit Earth and uh, we, we kind of need to stop it now. Apparently we need to go to Sutopolis because, uh, you guys remember that gym leader? You know, that flamboyant gym leader, the one that likes to dance that was mistaken as the champion in Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, we have to go to him because apparently he knows where... Or how to unlock, uh, what was it called, uh, the Sky Pillar. So, let's go ahead and use our Eon Flute, and, uh, let's just get the heck out of here right, right now. So, let's go, look at this. Yes, we are flying high, transforming, what now? Okay, so, let's see. I don't know what time it is in Australia right here, so I'm not gonna go for any kind of legendary Pokemon. We're just gonna go straight to Sutopolis and, uh, figure this whole thing out. I kind of, I kind of want to know what, what's going on right here. So there's a there, there's a meteor ready to hit. It's gonna get crazy, and if we don't stop it, then well, you know what? It, you know, Hoenn's destroyed, and apparently it's only Hoenn. So yeah, that's that's kind of odd right there. So let's go ahead, use a basilisk, or whatever its name is, and uh, find that dude, find that man, find that Pokemon gym leader, and I'm assuming it's right here, or we have to go to the Cave of Origin. I don't know. Let's see, where the heck are you? Yeah, the Cave of Origin. Wow. It has been a long time, guys. <laughs> it has been a long time since I played this game. So, to the Cave of Origin we go. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. Hopefully we can find, you know, flamboyant gym leader with a whole bunch of uh, water-type Pokemon right there. Can't manage to use them or anything like that. So, let's see. Where, oh, where can I find that dude? Somewhere right here. And Jeebus. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game, guys, so it's like, uh, excuse the whole forgetting where I'm supposed to be going or crashing into the, the staircases and whatnot. So let's see. Where the heck are you, Wallace? Look at this. And there he is, waiting for us, talking to this old gentleman right here. He's like, what a glorious turn of events. <laughs> is it really? Ooh, is it really? To think that this tree... I never knew we had received it from the huge man who visited from uh, from the Kalos region. Goodness me, old master, this has been a learning experience. Thank you for this. Oh, <laughs> you're too kind, Master Wallace. Oh, no, 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 you're too modest. Nah, ha, ha. Now then, welcome again to Sutopolis, our new champion, Draven. Steven has told me everything. Do you wish to go to Sky Pillar? It is true that the cave leads up to the Sky Pillar only, uh, or wait, 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 wait. It is true that the cave... It, you know, lead up to Sky Pillar, to be opened by the hand of someone descended from an ancient people of Sutopolis, as indeed I'm, am I, or by one of the Draconids who have also lived in the Hoenn, in Hoenn since the ancient times. The Sky Pillar is the fact of the altar is in fact the altar built to for ascension of Rayquaza, the legendary Pokemon long said to be the protector of the Hoenn region. Only only the ancient Draconid people know how to summon Rayquaza to the Sky Pillar. Steven has told me the woman's of uh, the woman Zinnia. She must be trying to re uh, revive Rayquaza for some purpose. I shall go first to Sky Pillar. When your preparations are complete, come join me. The Sky Pillar towers over everything upon uh, upon one of uh, Route 131's uh, small islands. Okay. And I think we were just there a while back. I think I don't know. We probably were. Uh, let's see. What were we trying to get right here? I think we already did. Yeah, we already did. Okay, so let's go back to Pacific Law Town because, uh, you know, one route, route 131 is right there. Literally right there. Okay, so we transform. Now, my question is, how come we won't Mega Evolve? I mean, it would be cool to see us just Mega Evolve for no apparent reason. So, here's Route 131, and we are in Pacific Log Town. Now, I know some people are going to be complaining, but, like, is it Paci Pacific Log or Pacific Lodge? I don't know. I keep on saying Pacific Log. I, you know, people have been uh, questioning the way I speak uh, speak of things. Now, before we do anything, there is something uh, right here that we uh, need to, you know, needs our attention and all that stuff. So just surf, and right here you will be finding the Kangaskhan Knight. Yes, this right here is to Mega Evolve Kangaskhan, and uh, well, you guys will be seeing those kinds of Mega Evolutions later on in. 
a future episode here and there. Hopefully, maybe, someday soon. Whenever good old Draven gets his uh, gets his uh, head out of his, you know what? Now, there is a little something that we kind of need to do in preparation for this because we are going to be going into something pretty big right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are back, guys, and well, the only Pokemon we had to get was Frostlass. I don't know why. Probably because we kind of need it for that very special occasion right here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using uh, Repels because. Yeah, we don't like getting attacked by any Pokemon right here. Really don't. We really, really, really don't. So here we go, Max Repel. And let us continue this adventure right here by going to Route 131. Now, once you've, uh, you know, once you get to this point right here, it's become easily accessible. It won't be that hard to find. It's going to be going through these little rock areas. And then, bam, you'll be seeing the flamboyant one himself, Wallace. And he's going to be like, dot, dot, dot. So you've come, Draven. As you can see, I haven't done the seal on the, uh, the entrance to the Sky Pillar. Follow the path within and you will reach the pillar in time. However, to go beyond this point, there's one more trial you must overcome. This is my duty as the as, as one of the ancient Sutop so Sutopolitans. Sut I can't even say it right, guys. A duty passed down to, uh, to me by my former master. You must battle me. Here and now. Prove to me that the that your power is great enough to face what lies ahead. Now tell me, are you prepared? Not really. I see. I'll wait. Prepare yourself. Okay. So we're really not we, 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 we're not ready because well we got Leviathan first. So come on, give us a break. We gotta go with the the man, the myth, the legend, the inanimate object. Yes, uh, Thunderbolt. Okay, let's go. All right, time to kick your you know what uh, your candy you know what right here. So, here it is, guys, taking on Wallace yet again, this time as a, well, Sutapolitan, I can't even pronounce the name, my bad, guys, and now, now like, I've, I've been reading some of you guys' comments, and some of you guys have been saying uh, stuff about, like, my reading uh, ability, okay, guys, trust me on this, okay, I think I have dyslexia, I don't know what it is, not trying to make fun of anything like that, but, uh, yeah, I've never, ever, ever taken a... I never ever take into reading so kindly. I've been working on it, especially right here. So just give me a break, guys. Come on. Sometimes you can read. Some people take into reading. Some people like to do other stuff. And uh, I, I like to do other stuff. So here we go. Take it on a Whiskash. And, uh, well, let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. And, uh, well, let's see. Magical Leaves. We'll actually uh, take care of the Whiskash right here. And just like that, Whiskash has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And Frost grows to level 47. And here comes Tentacruel. And, well, let's go ahead and take, continue it on right here with our good old buddy, Gaia the Fierce Knight. So let's go straight for a Psychic Attack right here. And how are you faster than my Pokemon? That's what I want to know. Look at this. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. And right now, as I'm uh, recording, it is actually raining. So... Yeah, the, the, you know, hey, we've, we've needed rain for a little bit where I'm at. And look at that. Guy of the Fierce Knights nice, kicking butt and talks of Batman taking names right here. And here comes Milotic. So we're going to be going straight back to Thunderball, the man, the myth, the legend, the inanimate object. Yes, Thunderball or Electrode. And, well, let's go right ahead and go straight for the discharge attack for the win. Look at that. Look at that. And, oh, wow. Milotic survives and hits us with the Hydro Pump. Boosted with a little bit of, a, you know, Rain Dance and stuff. But we also got a boost. <coughs> Look at that. Discharge for the win. Oh, yes. Now, I wonder I wonder what I did in our, in our gym battle. I can't remember. I probably swept him. I don't know. And this guy... Yeah, he, he, he probably should choose more Pokemon, and look at this. He's intimidating us. Okay. Time to finish this guy off. Let's go with a Discharge Attack right here. And look at this. Gyarados has been defeated. And just like that, we are going to take on Ludicolo. Wow, I, I actually thought I was worthy. Okay, let's go talk to Batman. Just because, well, it's faster, and it, it does have its uh, type capability right here. 
It's been a while. Talk to Batman. Let's go right ahead and finish out this Ludicolo right here. Let's go straight for a fly attack. And just like that, fake out hits us. Oh, wow. I thought we were going to flinch. Never mind. Oh, yeah. It does have that effect of not flinch. That's hilarious. Okay. Never mind. Here we go. Fly attack for the win. And Ludicolo survives right here and it hits us with an ice beam. Oh, my God. Okay. Thankfully, we did not get uh, frozen. So let's go straight <coughs> for a Venice Shock right here. And Ludicolo defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And Leviathan grows level 69. And Sutop... Put, to, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are the uh, descendant of a Sutopolis people. Yeah, nobody cares. Okay, so as I have come to expect from you, Draven, you are an excellent Pokemon trainer. The Pokemon that you sent out in that battle, at times dancing as lightly as elusive spring breeze. Yet striking with the sudden surety of lightning from the blue. Watching you command the battle with such ease and grace, even I might succumb to your charm. Now go forth. Find the truth that you seek. As one of the ancient people of Sutopolis, I cannot intrude upon it, this holy place. I will return to Sutopolis for now and try to lay plans in case of the worst uh, should come to pass despite all our efforts. I'm sorry that we are that we always seem to be leaving the fate of all the world. <laughs> oh man, I got coughing uh, in your hands. Yet there it lies once again. Good luck to you, young champion. Man, we seem to always be like the people in the middle. Okay, so before we do anything, guys, <coughs> I got to drink some water, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, my bad, guys. Uh, yeah, if you guys hear a lot of coughing, I, I, I do apologize. I have had, like, a, a you know, a pre-winter kind of bull, you know, what, pre-winter kind of cough and all that stuff. It just won't go away, and uh, yeah, again, I do apologize if there's a lot of coughing and whatnot. So here we are in Spear uh, the Spear Pillar, and we're going to be going straight toward the entrance, entrance and, uh, well, look at that. We are here. And it's a whole lot different from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Thank you, Arceus. And, well, here is Zinnia, and she's like, so you came for me. Thanks for that. She's clapping, and she's like, that's really good, Draven. I really feel it right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Since you've been a good boy, I think I'll give you something I've been keeping. Uh, okay. Look. The paintings that cover the walls of this tower. See, these are the history of humanity of Pokemon and nature itself. There are the tales, or there are the tales that have been passed down from my ancestors, the Draconids, for thousands of years. And now, I will pass that history and lore on to you. So am I a Draconid? So, thousands of years ago, in the primal age long lost, the world was overflowing with natural energy. Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre fought over the energy in endless, furious clashes. In the face of Primal Groudon and Kyogre's great power, people could do nothing. The only choice was to watch the disaster upon the disaster swept over them. It was in such a, a time that a great many meteor... Me <laughs> wow, coughing, god dang it. Meteoroids <laughs> poured for the darkness from the darkness of space from a place higher even than the heavens. And the meteoroids, meteor, meteoroids, meteoroids fell in the air multitude upon the waterfall that, uh, that had long been home to a tribe of dragon type Pokemon users. Hmm. Okay, that's it. That's the end of my first chapter of the tale. I'll tell you the next part of the story on the next floor. I look forward to it. Huh. Okay, well... Yeah, we, we, we have quite a few floors to go, but... Like I said before, guys... Thank you, Arceus, for... Yeah, not making this difficult. Because if you guys remember... We had to use our mock bike just to get past this whole area. Especially with the cracks right here. And as you guys can see, this... The cracks right here is like... Pretty much a tribute to what we uh, what we had to overcome back in the day. Now I think that is the the entrance to well <laughs> nothing except you'll find <coughs> a Pokeball. God dang it! And look at this. We find ourselves or we found ourselves a Dragon Scale. That right there will be useful when we get a Torpedo 
You guys remember Torpedo, our good old buddy Torpedo here. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go towards the other area. Now, there's going to be multiple stairs, guys. So just keep an eye out for all of them. That way you can find some rare items, TMs included. And, well, let's see. We're walking, we're walking, and we are finding nothing except, you know, Xenia. Oh, here you are. Let me continue. It's finally time for Chapter 2. Here we go. At last, right? Huh. I know you're, th you're thrilled. The meteor shone with a rainbow brilliance as if some great life was held within. That was when, as if drawn by the brilliance, a Pokemon that shone in a blazing emerald hue descended from the heavens. That Pokemon was none other than Rayquaza. Rayquaza's power overwhelmed that of the two primal Pokemon, and peace returned to the world. The people of the of Hoenn revere Rayquaza as a true savior. Eight thousand or eight thousand years after this time, the meteoroids, meteoroids once again fell. A huge meteoroid, far greater than any before, struck the planet, boring deep into the ocean, and leaving behind a crater larger than any other. The land born of this event later became, became known of, as Sutopolis. <coughs> Again, I am so sorry if you guys are hearing the coughs. And, <coughs> Jesus Christ, I am dying of coughing. Oh my God. I need cough drops. And that's it. Chapter 2 is over. But we've only just be, uh, left the, to the, the starting line. There's a long way to, uh, yeah, don't fall behind now. Hmm. You know, I need to buy some cough drops. This is going to be hilarious, guys. So let's go straight to the, I want to say the third floor. It might be the third floor. I don't know. And yes, there are going to be some Pokemon right here that you're going to be finding. I think we've already encountered most of them. Now our tail reaches the best part. Sutopolis was born from a great meteorite uh, strike. The Great Meteoroid was the first of many disasters to befall humanity. When it punched into the planet, the, the land cracked beneath it, and the, a great welling of natural energy poured from beneath the Hoenn. Thirsting for that energy, Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon once again woke. The people had a wish, a memory from a thousand years before. They wished that the legendary Pokemon clad in the Emerald Light would appear again. The huge meteorite that lay at the heart of the Sutopolis, or at the heart of Sutopolis, gave off a boundless brilliance. In its brilliance, it resembled a vast and powerful keystone. And once again, Rayquaza descended from whence it became in the heavens. The people fell to their knees before Rayquaza and made a wish for salvation. As they did, a great change came over the legendary Pokemon. It was enveloped in a blinding light. As the light receded, they beheld a Rayquaza beyond all knowledge. A sublime figure, incandescent, 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 yes, I am uh, reading correctly with this, with overwhelming life force. It was humanity's wish that brought about Rayquaza's transformation in the face of the Rainbow Stone. Yes, a wish, an intangible thing invisible to the eye. Yet, this wish bound people and Pokemon together, enabling the legendary Pokemon to change its appearance. Doesn't it remind you of something? That's right. It sounds like Mega Evolution, doesn't it? Hmm. And I have a Meteorite, don't I? I think I have a Meteorite. They finally do... They're, yeah, they're finally doing something with the Meteorite that we found long ago. And, well, let's see. Trying to find the next spot right here. There is nothing. Literally nothing. But you, you, you can see, like, the paintings right here. That is fantastic they did a great job with that and uh, well let's see what, what else can we find right here nothing except Xenia and how did this story end after being transformed by the wish of the people did Rayquaza save them from disaster yeah I can see us right here right now so I think they did Rayquaza once again confronted Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre the golden filaments that sprang from its body covered the sky and a, an emerald brilliance illuminated the area a terrible wind rose the wind in the emerald light visibly sapped the power from the primal Groudon and primal Kyogre. Dreaming them of their par uh, primal powers, the two vanished into the depths of the land of the sea. Rayquaza watched them go, regaining its usual appearance. Then it soared back up into the heavens where it dwelled. A, win or a witness to the series of events, a tall visitor from a distant land. 
I said it was uh, it is the Delta born uh, born of the great disturbances in the world. By the bonds born of a mankind's wish and the power of the stones, it will calm the troubles and plague the world. That was the that was the Draconodes Draconids constructed their great tower a, a, uh, to hold the rainbow stone that had granted great po Rayquaza its power and tr to try to get a little bit closer to Rayquaza in the heavens above. To record the history of their trials and the great feats of uh, the mighty Rayquaza for all to know, they left behind the murals you see here. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. Very, very interesting. A giant power, or a giant tower, I should say, and paintings of vast or past. Wow. I'm literally having, like, my... <laughs> literally having, a, what was it called? Uh, dyslexia right now. You know, I feel like we've, uh, we've seen something like that recently. <laughs> but now I suppose it's time for the last chapter in our tale. Hmm. I wonder what this last chapter could be. So let's go and uh, yeah, hit us uh, hit us up with some more repels right here, and let us yeah, let us find maybe an item here or there. And uh, well, look, our good old friend, she's gonna be like, at last we reached the final chapter. Oh wow, look at that! A thousand y uh, years of peace allowed after the disastrous time. But the Dragonid people learning from their long history's uh, cycli cyc cyclical na nature foretold that the meteor meteoroids would fall on this land again. The meteoroid to come, they prophesied, would be far greater than those that had come before it. The meteoroid would be great enough to break the world forever. In order to prevent this great calamity, those who held the knowledge of the past arrived in the, at, at a plan. Their plan was to invoke Rayquaza, the great savior. And to summon it to this land before the meteorite, or the meteorite could strike. Hmm. So I think we're at like a thousand years, and she's like, and that's it. That's the end of our. That's the end of our the Draconid's tale. I spent a long time thinking about how I could protect the happiness of as many people as possible. What I must do as one who beholds both the knowledge and the power, one who bears the heavy wishes of those who cannot live up to that fate. Well, I had to be really creative, you know. Really? How creative were you? Now, let's see. Before we go upstairs, there are some stairs right here where you can go and, well, <coughs> you'll find an item. Man, this coughing is, is ridiculous. I need to get cough drops after this. I really do. Okay, so let's see. Oh, there's an item right there. We love free items. And, uh, yeah, you can just get on this stone. And here we found ourselves... The TM-64 explosion. You know, a good move. Just in case you kind of want to win. Or a cheap win or something like that. Okay, so let's go right ahead. And continue on our little exploration right here. And see, where will this take us? And, uh, no, we're not going to capture that Pokemon. I swear to God, I thought there was, like, more items right here. Well, there's more Pokemon than items, so... Here we are! At the very top of... Of Mount Titicaca. I'm sorry. The spear till the spear tower. Wow, I can't even pronounce it, but here we are at night. <coughs> Again, I am sorry, guys. Dot dot dot. See that Aster? You always wanted to watch them again, right? The little no uh, the little nids, a million uh, glittering stars falling from the sky. The show is about to start. <laughs> Are we happy now? Yes. What could be better, dear Aster? <laughs> oh, so she was on the spear pillar this whole time. Wow, okay. Dot, dot, dot. Welcome to the Dragon Hark Altar. Draven, you know what I'm trying to do here by, by now, don't you? Hmm, probably. That's right. I will summon Rayquaza to this world and destroy the meteoroid headed to, for Hoenn. That is my... It is our duty. Ever since I was a little girl, I have always turned my eyes up in the sky. When I was full of uncertainty that I felt my heart might be crushed by it, when I was so grief-stricken and alone, I thought my heart might break of it. I turned, on, uh, I turned and looked up there so that my, te my tears would never, ever fall. What about you? Have you ever had to do something like that? 
Yeah. Right. Dot, dot, dot. I used to watch the stars like this all the time. Together with Aster, we were always together in good, in good times and in bad. I loved her. I loved her with everything I had. But I lost her. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I want to see her. I want to be with her again. My sweet Aster. Mom? I will, won't I? With this. Just a little longer. Huh. I thought the Whismer was the Aster. I, I, I'm so confused right now. Bear Mirror! Guess I should say good morning. You slept well, didn't you? You look so adorable when you sleep. Sorry about not uh sorry about the knocking you out thing. Wait, she knocked me out? The hell? Okay. I got the reflexes of a lemur and all that stuff, but this chick right here, she really just like she did it. Enough! I think it's time that I gave this a shot. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. If something happens to me, please take this little one. Ah. So we got a free Pokemon. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. Here I go. With the jewel bright and borrowed might from the spirits of the departed. Through secret rites, in thy great sights, my life it well I offer. The keystones that Xenia holds are giving off a blinding light. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. I summon thee to aid this fight and save us from disaster. Realize them upon this world. For this I summon thee. Winged Dragon of Raw. Rayquaza. <laughs> Rayquaza. Kind of sounds like, you know, you know, the, the, the chant in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, wow. So here we have Rayquaza, and this Pokemon right here is a... Uh... Oh, wow. Ray, Ray, Rayquaza. I did it. I did it. Now the world will be saved. Aster, Aster, I did it. Great Rayquaza, hear my wish. Achieve your mega evolution. Take hold of your true power. Show me your true face, the Rayquaza that will save this planet. Xenia's, uh, Xenia's Keystone does not react. Uh-oh. Huh? How could this be? I gathered all the Keystones that uh, could withstand your great power and summon you here. You, you came. And yet, why? Come on, do it! Mega Evolve! Why, 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 why won't you? It does not react. Wah, wah. That's kind of what he said in his own language, and, uh... Well... What? It can't be. The one with the, without enough power is you, or the one without enough power is you, Rayquaza. The meteorites that you should lie within Rayquaza's great body aren't enough. Have these thousands of years uh, drained them of, of, of their power? This can't be. I, I, I can't. I, I, everything I've done till now. Aster, I can't. I can't take it anymore. Uh-oh. And, uh, well, would you look at that? My meteorite just started to glow. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, about to turn Super Saiyan right here. That's... The glow of Draven's meteorite grew even stronger. What? That meteorite? It's just like a, a Mega Stone. Oh, wow. Rayquaza swallowed Draven's meteorite.
light is spilling forth from within Rayquaza's body. Whoa! Swallowing meteorites allowed it to store as much power as a Mega Stone. Your meteorite summoned forth the power needed for Rayquaza to Mega Evolve! <laughs> it's amazing, Draven. Rayquaza is trying to build a build up power. It wants to. Uh, it wants power for itself to take you on. Use everything you've got to win over Rayquaza. You have to master it. This is the legendary Pokemon that all Hoenn views as his great protector, and the only one who can direct it now. It's you. You have to do this. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna pause it right here, guys, because well. We got some stuff to do. We got a little bit of things to take care of. No side quests. We just need to prepare mentally, you know, for this. So, I'm going to leave you right here, guys. Stay tuned in the next episode. Yes, it is going to get very, and I mean very interesting. Thank you guys again for staying patient, for being uh, as supportive as possible. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Wow, almost said Omega. See you guys.